Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and today I'm going to show you how to connect a new financial account to QuickBooks. This is an established QuickBooks account in our sample company that we're in. So an account where we've already set up our financial accounts in the past. The business has been running for a while and now we have opened a new financial account, maybe a checking account, a savings account, a new credit card, and we need to connect them to QuickBooks without messing up any of the financial accounts that we have already connected in the past. So I'm going to show you how to do that today in this sample company. Okay, so in our example, we're going to connect a new credit card account. And so we're on the dashboard and we're gonna scroll down and click on connect accounts. This will bring us to this page and if the financial institution account you want to connect to is here, you can simply select one of these. If not, you can search. For example, if we searched for PNC, it would give us these options and we could choose the correct option for our purposes. In our example today, we're gonna connect a Capital One credit card account. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue to make the connection and we're gonna to have to sign into our financial account. If you have multiple financial accounts at the institution, you may have to make a decision here in selecting which accounts you would like to share. In this case, there's only one to choose from, so we will click authorize. On this screen, we're gonna choose the account that we want to connect. And you'll notice at the drop down menu that it gives us the option to connect this credit card to an already existing account. So these are accounts that have already been created in our chart of accounts. And sometimes if maybe a connection has been lost, you want to reestablish a connection to an already existing account. But most of the time, this scenario that we're covering, this is a new account that you have opened up. It's brand new to your business. So we do not wanna assign it to a previously created account in QuickBooks. Instead, we wanna make this a brand new account in QuickBooks. And that is really important. If this is a brand new account to your business, you do not want to assign this new connection to an already existing connection or account in QuickBooks. So because this is a credit card, we're gonna choose credit card. If it was a bank account, we would choose bank. Detail type, we can stick with credit card. Let's go over the options for bank. You can choose between checking, money market, savings. Those would be your most likely choices if this was a bank account. Let's flip this back to credit card. And I'm just gonna call it new credit card. If we hadn't done this step, if we had instead connected this credit card account to one of our already established accounts in QuickBooks, it would have added all of this credit card information on top of the financial transaction information we already had in QuickBooks for that account we chose. So that's why having this be a new account is super important. So we're gonna hit save and close. And now QuickBooks will assign this account to a new credit card. This is also an important part, choosing how far back you want transactions to be pulled from. Most of the time you're going to want to choose max available time. The only reason you would want to choose a shorter amount of time would be if like previously you were using the account for a personal reason and you switched it to a business use, you know, maybe on 8-1. But in most cases, if this is a new financial account you've opened for your business, you're going to want to bring in every single transaction you possibly can from account opening of that transaction into QuickBooks. So in our case, we are going to choose max available and then we will click connect. And now we are all set and ready to go, just like they said. 
Here is our new credit card account in QuickBooks, and they have brought in all of the financial transactions since 529-2001, which was the farthest in time that QuickBooks was able to go back and bring in those transactions. So hopefully you have found this video helpful. You can now go on to categorize these transactions like usual. Just please keep in mind that important step. If this is a new financial account to your business, Make sure you do the plus sign, new, and don't connect a new account to an already established account in QuickBooks, or you're just going to have two financial accounts connected to the same place in QuickBooks, and that will just be a big old mess. If this video has been helpful to you, I would really appreciate your like or your subscribe. Thank you so much, and have a great day.